there is no shortage of reasons that having a character like Naru be the action hero in a movie like this is an incredible uh, feat and move. I think having an indigenous female action hero is historic um and i think it's an incredible thing that dan and 20th century did to have such a vote of confidence toward um indigenous people and indigenous storytelling to get behind uh having a figure like that that people can hopefully look at and feel connected to or inspired by and and you know also hopefully that is represented in a way that is I think grounded and human and relatable and also very cool I first auditioned for this film and for the role of Naru in February of 2020 was the first time that I ever met Dan and then this film disappeared for a while and came back and I never had any idea that it was a predator film I only knew that it was a movie about a young Comanche woman who wanted to be a hunter and I thought that she was very interesting I really connected with her for some reason and I thought that the movie you know what little I knew about it the concept was was unique and I'm a huge fan of Dan I think he's just I think the world of him and and his ability as a filmmaker um, and also a person. So all of those things were already enough for me. And then later I found out that it was a part of the predator world. Um, Naru is determined. She is stubborn. <laughs> She's focused. She's the kind of person that the more you tell her no, the more she wants to prove yes. And she is instinctive you know she has this idea of where she should be or this feeling of being drawn to something even though people are constantly telling her to do something else or go somewhere else she she has a feeling about where she really belongs and what she really should be doing and I think the way that she follows her intuition and the way that she follows her instincts um are unique and interesting and carry her through uh quite the journey. There was not a day of this film <laughs> that did not present challenges. So it's hard to say, it's hard to pick any one thing in particular that was most challenging about playing this role or making this movie. But I mean, the concept of the idea of not wanting to let anybody down, you know, this obviously takes place 1719 uh, in the Comanche Nation. And I'm not Comanche. I am uh, Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota. So I'm also, I also come from Plains people, but, you know, Comanches were incredible warriors and they were incredible hunters. So it was important to me to represent their people well and to do right by the Comanche people um, on top of obviously just wanting to be skilled and even working with somebody like Dan, you know, wanted to like never you know come in always prepared or always ready to do my best or or you know face whatever physical challenge there was going to be I mean there's truly no shortage of things that made this movie unique <laughs> I am Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota so those are all Plains tribes so I do come from Plains people and the Comanche people are also Plains people though they are obviously completely different you know, tribe than, than me and then I grew up in, but the cultures do, Comanche culture and my culture do share some similarities. So the process of learning about that was really special to me and unique to be able to show up to work and supposed to, I was supposed to be learning about, you know, the Comanche people and the Comanche nation and Comanche history. And so that to me was really, was really fun. And, and, I really felt privileged by that. And it was amazing to learn about, you know, different things that we share, or different places where we differ. And of course, you know, if somebody were representing my people, I, I would take that seriously. And so representing, you know, Comanche people, I definitely took that seriously. Uh, this, a huge thing that made this film unique was how collaborative Dan is and how kind and grounded and open I, I think he really put a huge effort into making an environment where everybody felt cared for and everybody felt comfortable and supported and and from the beginning he was so open to 
especially with culture stuff, but with anything like hearing everybody and wanting to know, like, if you have any ideas of little culture things that can be incorporated or, or this stuff or this thing, like just so open and so willing to learn and, and hear people. So, um, I am so grateful for that experience. Uh, this being my first acting role, uh, it kind of came back, came about in a strange way. Um, I had auditioned uh, for kind of this open audition thing that I saw on Instagram a couple of years ago and uh, that ended up getting canceled because of COVID. And honestly, I'm not sure how big of a part I was even meant to play in that. Um, so I just kind of kept doing my thing. I was working a regular job and, and uh, playing music at night and on the weekends trying to do that. And uh, then I got an email from this casting agent, this major casting agent, and she said, I want you to audition for the small part in this movie. And I said, oh, okay. And uh, so I did, and I sent in a self tape. And then I did a Zoom audition with uh, Dan and Jane. And then I think I did another one. And then I flew, then they flew me out to LA for this screen test with Amber and a couple other people that they were looking at. And I, I, it was at that point I started to realize this is this doesn't seem like a small part. I don't think they would fly me out if I, you know, was playing a, some small role. Uh, then uh, Dan uh, FaceTimes me a few few weeks later, and what do you know? What I got the part in a Predator movie. I was semi familiar uh, with the Predator franchise before I got the role. Uh, most of my experience was with the first one. You know, you hear those uh, those iconic lines everywhere you go. You know. Uh, you know, you know, Dutch get to the chopper. And uh, one of my favorites, you know, that I had heard was that whole Billy Lion, you know, there's something out there and it ain't no man. Uh, and I, I love that. It's so ominous. Uh, so yeah, the first one, but after I got the role, I went and binged the rest of them because I want to know what I'm getting into here. You know, Tabe is a character uh, that I would, that I really felt a, a camaraderie with because, uh, you know, he's this, He's this strong, tough, you know, warrior, but he has this kindness uh, and this kind of goodness that radiates uh, out of him. And that's something that I strive to try and have in my own life if I can. Uh, so being able to play this guy as my first character was kind of an honor for me because uh, that's something I, I want to bring to the world. You know, uh, young boys out there. So many, they want to be strong, they want to be tough, but that doesn't mean that they have to, um, that they have to uh, get rid of their, their kindness and their, and their goodness. Uh, so that was, that was an honor for me. Yeah, you know, um, you know my background, uh, kind of growing up in the Southwest, uh, certainly kind of uh, gave me a good foundation to kind of build Tabe upon. Uh, you know, I, I, um, I kind of grew up with, with a mix of cultures uh, but it gave me a, a wide outlook, and kind of a lot of things to take uh, and put into this guy. You know, he's, he's, he's not just one thing. He, he is emotionally diverse and you get to see multiple different sides of Tabe throughout the movie, which was fun for me. You get to see him at his best. You get to see him uh, under stress. You get to see him uh, emotionally conflicted talking to his sister. It was, it was pretty special for me. You know, one thing that I love about Dan uh, is he's so easygoing. You know, if, if anybody had any ideas, he was never uh, he was never too scary to approach. You know, in the last uh, in my last scenes, um, I wasn't supposed to originally have anything on my face, just the bruises and the cuts that I would have anyway. Um, but, you know, I was looking at the blood on myself and the blood all around me. And I was just thinking to Dan, I, to, to myself, I want to I want to put something on top of it to kind of get his groove back, you know, because uh, he's just gone through this 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 horrible experience. He's gonna he's got to come back with some swag. So I went to Dan and I said, "Hey, can I take some blood and 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 do something to kind of give Tabe a little bit of fierceness for this last bit?" And he, and he was all for it. So I give him all the credit. Thank you for listening to me, bud. Um, this being my first acting role. There was a lot of moments where I just kind of had to step back and go, "Wow, this is this is quite the uh, this is quite the production." You know, you don't realize how many people go into making a movie until you're sitting in the middle of it and you're watching so many people going by doing their jobs, 
and it just gives you an ultimate appreciation. And it's, it's humbling for me um, because I know that my part is only so much. You've got, you know, uh, grips setting things up just right for you. You've got, uh, you know, the post-production guys, uh, you know, who hold a lot of power in their hands to make you look really good or really bad. So you really appreciate those guys who don't really get seen in the movie. Uh, I know without those guys, um, we couldn't have done it. So I appreciate them. I would say one of the significant things that makes this movie stand apart um, from the others in the Predator franchise is that while it is a genre mashup, um, the the original movie being much more of an action science fiction horror film, this movie is more of an adventure suspense science fiction horror film. Um, um, so the idea for this story originally came from uh, my interest in making a movie that would be told through action. Um, and But I didn't want it to just be a visceral experience. I wanted it to be an emotional one as well. So I sought to infuse um, the story with the engine of a sports movie, of an underdog story. Uh, and then in thinking about that, I thought, well, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be tremendous if the, if the, the making of the movie reflected the story that the character inside the movie was going on. Um, so by setting it um, in the 1700s and, and having um, it be led by a, a Native American cast um, and focus on the Comanche, who so often in pop culture and, and media have been relegated to playing the sidekick or the villain, never the hero, um, it would just make th this uh, experience of watching this movie that much more impactful. Uh, this movie was was shot almost entirely outdoors. Uh, it was particularly challenging trying to ford rivers to get to our location or or snap on show snowshoes to get, to get um, to uh, some of the locations that we had to scout. Um, and, you know, chasing natural light, it makes for a long, arduous shoot, but also means that the images that we're capturing are going to be unique and um, precious and and uh, not something that's often seen on screen. Um, a lot of this film was shot at night, you know, just to add the nuance to the, the predator. And I really liked it because at night you had the animals coming out and all these other noises and stuff that you wouldn't normally have you know, if you were shooting in the daytime. So to me, it just added a lot of context. Because this film is set uh, with the Comanche Nation, and it's actually set with a band of Comanches that are on a hunting uh, trip, storing, storing food and uh, things for winter, it was really important to be authentic and to bring that authentic uh, voice all the way throughout the film, not only, you know, in the camp that you see, but uh, riding horseback in uh, wardrobe and costuming, you know, within the, the face paint, you know, the, the face paint was created uh, with each of the characters in mind. And it was something that they had a hand in as well, because we had uh, a predominantly native cast. So it kind of just gave them that extra spirit and protection that you would look for when you're you're developing that type of paint. This is the first film in the Predator franchise that features an all indigenous cast. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Click and watch our suggested video playlist right now for more entertaining videos. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.